What's up, everybody? Welcome back to 411 News. I am your host, B. Cray. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you busy. I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to jump into the news. Just get right into it. First and foremost, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell. If you are not a subscriber, please join the BK family while there is time. So first thing is first, always put out, I'm going to start putting out just a, a, what I call like an NFL score at the beginning, especially if a team got smacked. So this week, the smacking went to the Jaguars. They got beat by the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football, 47 to 10. It makes you think: Did they even come to play, or did they send their, or did they send their, uh, did they send their preseason team out? So let's give the Bills a little bit of props. I got a couple of people that's Bills fans, so let's give them their props. But anyway, I'm, I got my phone because I got my notes today because I have my notes on my phone because I've been taking notes for a day trying to get this video together. But let's go ahead and jump into what we're talking about today. First and foremost, let's go ahead and talk into, talk, get into our um, R&B, R&B, no, I'm sorry, entertainment news. Going into entertainment news today. So for entertainment news, it's a lot, but it's not a lot. But we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it together because we're there together. First off, let's talk about Cardi B. So y'all know Cardi B and Offset has been on and off for like the longest. Since I didn't want to be married, sometimes they don't. She even filed for divorce. So... You know, they had, this is their second, they just had their second child, right? So yesterday she took to IG live and she was just talking up there and then all, and an offset got up there and then, you know, they was going back and forth, you know, pity patty back and forth. Who did this? Who did that? And then, you know, I think she said he cheated and then he came back and told her like, well, you cheated too. You cheated while you was pregnant with another man. So people, I, <laughs> look. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 look, I don't know how it is with this whole little pregnancy and having sex thing, but I don't think it's safe to really have sex while you're pregnant. But once again, to each zone, y'all let me know. Do, do you think that was smart to have sex when she was pregnant? But she's would have been going, but she's would have been married also at the same time. So I, I don't know what's going on with them. I feel like some stuff need to be kept at the house. Stop airing your dirty laundry on Cardi B and all said like Jesus Christ, man. Keep some stuff at the house. That's not that's none of our business about who you slept with when you was pregnant. If if y'all gonna be together, then be together. If they not, just don't. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard to be like moving on. Just make sure that you're there for the kids. That's all. That's all that's important. Moving on. So I know y'all remember Nelly and country and um and the Saint Lunatics, right? You know what they? You know when Nelly first came out, he had that country grammar. The I think the CD was called Country Grammar, or that record was called Country Grammar. And it was just him and the St. Lun and the St. Lunatics, what you want to call them? So it was reported last week that the St. Lunatics are taking Nelly to court because he keep laying blame to all the music that they came out with. And Nelly and the St. Lunatics is like, no, bro, we wrote that stuff together. You ain't getting all these props. So they're gonna take him to court. They are suing him for an undisclosed amount of money. So people, <laughs> look, I, 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 okay, so Nelly. I first knew Nelly or knew of Nelly when he came out with Country Grammar and he had his St. Lunatics with him. So to me, they are the people that put Nelly on the map. So instead of Nelly, you know, reaching out and hollering for all of this, um, you know, hollering that he wrote these songs, you might want to give your boys the proper, um, the proper respect and the proper rights that they, they deserve to this music because you ain't do it by yourself, bro. And I, don't, and I really think if it wasn't for the St. Lunatics, that Nelly wouldn't be what he is today. But anyway, let me know how you feel about that down in the comments. That's just how I feel about it. You know, whatever. So next thing we're talking about, you know, we've been talking it's about this um, Diddy thing for a while now. But let's shift gears a little bit and let's talk about Usher. So if y'all wasn't tracking, I think it was either Saturday or Sunday, Usher deleted all of his texts or all of his tweets on X, formerly known as Twitter, right? And then people was always wondering why did he delete all that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Then I think the other, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday he came out with his Twitter got hacked and they deleted all his tweets. I ain't crazy, but if if somebody's account is gonna get hacked, they're gonna do more than just delete all your tweets. I personally think that he deleted all of his tweets 
just in case they try to do, just in case FBI try to come out to him with this whole Diddy stuff, because you know Diddy was his mentor and all that other good stuff. So that's why I think he did it. To me, to me, like, just be honest. If if that's what you're doing, be honest about it. Like, I'm not going to judge you, Usher. You was a kid during this time, so I'm not going to judge you. Just be honest. Stop coming out with these lies about someone supposedly, you know, hacked your dog on uh, it, your dog on uh, Twitter page. That goes back to the same thing with Shane, with uh, what's his name, Shannon Sharp. He the one came out to about some, somebody hacked his page when when he was up there when he when he supposedly went live when he was getting his groove on with some girl. You know what I'm saying? So people, if you look, if you're gonna do some dirty stuff, you gotta you gotta own up to your dirt. That's how I like it. You dirt some own up to your dirt. But usher, but usher, if that's what you're trying to do, just be honest with it. Like, hey, I'm trying to make sure my stuff is 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 all my ducks in a row. So when the FBI come after me, I'm good to go. And I respect you for that, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and talk about Bashir, Bashir Gray. So, those of y'all who don't know who Bashir Gray is, I'll put a picture of him. But he was on the hit show Empire back in the day. You know, Empire had like three or four seasons. You know, there was it was, you know, it, it also starred, it also starred Terrence Howard and Taraji Hansen and Justin Smooth. Y'all know about happened with Justin Smooth already. You know, he didn't want, he didn't want... To me, he was the one that started the incline of Empire. You know, he came out here to him. He was gay bashed or gay jumped, and it all came into it. And he faked it. He faked all of it just to pull attention. And to me, that's what put that stain on Empire. That's what made Empire kind of go off. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about we're talking about Bashir Bashir Gray. So, if y'all don't know, I have been seeing things on my on my uh, ex falling on his Twitter feeds about. Bashir Gray now has a OnlyFans page. And I know a lot of you is wondering like, hey, B, B Cray, what is OnlyFans? So OnlyFans is this platform where people can go up there and it's, and it's less restricted than most of your Instagram, Twitters and all that. So it's like an Instagram or a Twitter, but it's, 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 it's not as restricted. So you can go up there, you can do anything from painting and posting videos of your painting and music and all that good stuff. And then you can also sell that stuff back to the people. Like if let's say you was an aspiring rapper and you want to do rap, but you don't, you're not really that big yet. You want to draw your crowd, you can do your OnlyFans page and then people can go up there and pay to listen to your rap or listen to, or pay to look at your videos and things like that. So as the world continues to turn, you know, we are a hypersexual world. So people have also turned their OnlyFans into a a a kind of like a, a porn site as well. Let's just call it what it is. A porn site as well. So people go up there and they sell news, they sell um what they call like porn, or they want to sell like um what they call like thirst traps and things like that. So Bashir Gray got his his page uh, his page up there, and from what I'm reading on Twitter. He started doing lives with females. Then he moved to he moved to to uh, t like transsexuals, transsexual males, and now now from what I'm seeing or from what I'm hearing is that he's all out bottoming on on camera. And when I say bottoming, that means it's two males. And for uh, how would I describe this? He's more or less the one bending over. That thing that made better for more people understand. So there's a guy behind him giving him doggy style with his appendix, if you want to call it, you know. So that's what's being seen on um, on on OnlyFans so far. But then people are also questioning some of it because they like he's not showing what's going on. Like he's not showing it being inserted into him. So people are starting to ask, is he gay baiting? Like, is he, when I say gay baiting, like, is he acting like he's taking the the appendix so so that more people can come to his, come to his OnlyFans page and pay to see that? Or is he really getting slammed? <laughs> That's a good way of saying it. So it, the, 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 the questions are out there. And then people are asking, like, is he gay or not? Or is he just doing this for money? 
I am a firm believer. If you indulge in gay acts, you either buy or gay. And y'all, some of y'all know how I feel about buy, but you either gay, like you just gay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Live with it, live with your truth. But if you like males and females, live your truth. I, look, I ain't the one to judge you. Uh, do what you want to do, bruh. You make your life happy. And then the last thing I want to talk about, the last thing I want to talk about is your homegirl, Janet Jackson. So a week ago, Janet Jackson put out that she said Kamala Harris is not black. She's Indian. And y'all know Trump is already on that, is on that bandwagon about Kamala Harris not being a black female. Y'all know uh, then president, no, I'm sorry. Trump also went after Barack Obama when, when he, when he took office. So it's been an ongoing thing, but for Janet Jackson to come out and said it and then a pop and then, and then like, you know, it got out, it made all these news things and whatnot. And then people was like, oh, Janet Jackson, why are you doing this? Oh, Janet Jackson, why are you doing this? You're not for us, Janet Jackson. You're not black, whatever, whatever, whatever. So then Janet Jackson came out with that whole apology. And then she put the blame somewhere else. Janet, instead of Janet Jackson being standing on business and apologizing for it, she put the blame on her manager saying her manager told her that. Like, I'm like, girl, you can stand on business, stand on business. If it came out your mouth, then stand on business and say, yeah, I said it. I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But she want to push the blame onto her manager. And say, I heard it from my manager. And that's so disrespectful. And it's not, I don't, like, I said, like I always said every week, I don't care who you vote for. That's on you. I got my, I got my ballot today. But once again, that's on you who you decide to vote for. But at the same time, don't push out lies on people because those y'all that don't know, Kamal, Kamala Harris' father is Jamaican and his and her mother was Indian. That's how that whole Indian thing. So, so she's mixed. She's a mixed. She, she's a half breed. You know, she's a mixed breed. You know, she's a mixed breed. And it is. I mean, but also don't don't go through elections looking at. I'm just gonna vote for her because she's black. Look at her record. Look at what she's done. The same thing I would tell people, if you're going to vote for Trump, look at his record. Look at what he's done. Don't just be like, well, she's black. I'm going to vote for her because she's black. That doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean anything. But for your own people to sit there and, and condemn you and call you something that you're not, is kind of a little bit disrespectful to me. And Janet Jackson, I give you two thumbs down for that one because you should have stood on business like most black women do. You're going to say something, stand on business. Don't come out with this whole little thing. Well, I didn't mean to say, I'm so sorry. I got it from my manager. No, stand on business, girl. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. I told y'all it's going to be short. That's all I got for you today. So please, like I said, I love and appreciate every last one of y'all for all, for everything you've done so far. Last 41 News got 377 views. That's what I'm talking about, people. Thank you for that. Thank you for that love. And that also gave me like six or seven new subscribers. So, people, thank you so much. I will continue to do what I need to do for y'all. Like I said, I love and appreciate every last one of y'all. Please, if you are, if you have not subscribed, please take 30 seconds. Just click that red subscribe button. Join the winning team. Join the news that make you happy. I don't like to talk about bad news. I like to talk about nothing but good news. I am the news source that put a smile on your face by the time you leave. Keep praying for one another. Keep encouraging one another. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.